You will die in the name of Lady Vash. Hello everyone, Wolfie here. Welcome to Black Temple and congratulations for the 4 out of 5 Mount Angel. I know you came here before you managed to down Archimon, it is okay, he will die sooner or later. If you are 5 out of 5, big GG to you and your guild. Anyway, from a lovely mountain area we came into sewers and there is enough reason to believe that we might fight TMNT. Uh, never mind. It is a plastic surgery fetish naga. Nagentus is the first boss in BT and as such is decently easy when it comes to mechanics, so let's go over boss abilities. Melee doesn't hit as hard at all, averaging about 4.500 on tier 5 geared warrior. It can crush however for about 8 to 9000. Survivable but don't put the strain on the healers, rest of the abilities will constantly deal a lot of damage already. Horseshoe swipe is an Agentus type of cleave, I don't see the relation though. It is the next melee attack if there is another player in front of the boss next to the tank. Funny situation are when the melee over aggros at start and boss just turns around like a grim reaper and decapitates all of the melees. Needle spine is thrown at random non tank raid member and deals up to 5000 physical damage and splashes all others around the target in a radius of 6 yards for about 2.8k damage. Being physical damage it is mitigated by armor. Impaling Spine casted every 20 seconds on a random non-tank raid member dealing about 5000 damage, stunning and dealing additional 2.8 thousand damage every 3 seconds until another player removes the spine from an unlucky target. Player who removed the spine will actually loot it in the bag. Spine is used to pop the tidal shield. Tidal shield is casted every 60 seconds by the boss on himself, making him immune to all damage and healing him for 1% of his total HP over 45 seconds, or until the shield is popped by the looted spine. Popping the shield will trigger the last boss ability called Tidal Burst, which deals 8.5 thousand frost damage to everyone in the raid, meaning that low HP clotty classes will have a hard time surviving without pre-shield. HP increasing trinket or abilities such as ice block or paladin bubble. Healers beware that the main tank will take spike damage, since the boss continues to attack through shield. Before popping the shield make sure everyone is topped off to max HP or at least over 8.5 thousand. DBM should show you on the screen like so. That's it when it comes to mechanics, spread around the room within your parties, 6 plus yards away from each other, melee stack on boss tail and tank the boss right here like so. Loot spines as fast as you can and use this macro to throw it when the raid leader calls for it. Out of tips and tricks, debuff the boss with reduced healing to minimize healing from tidal shield. Mages use frost ward to soak some damage from tidal burst and once per fight pop ice block to negate the mechanic in its entirety. Rogues remember that even though the boss is immune to damage you can still generate combo points through the shield with something like shiv. After the tidal shield is popped and everyone is at their 10% HP or less, healers have about 15 seconds to heal everyone up before needle spines are resumed and 20 seconds before the next impaling spine. Rinse and repeat every 60 seconds. Stay spread, bloodlust after the first tidal shield and it's a GG. Healers, this is your fight. Good luck. On a scale from 1 to 5, I'll give this boss a solid 2. Besides spine, mechanics are easy and straightforward. More gear you have, the easier it gets. Out of the trash leading up to Nagentus, some will give you an actual hard fight. Aqueous Lord deals nature damage, shoots crashing waves in a cone so turn it away from the raid. Will spawn his spawns, has wild slime dot that he casts on his current target. Spawns have the poison debuff called Sludge Nova. When you pull one of these, focus it down. Sea Collar is casting Forked Lightning, summons Hurricane on top of the raid so be ready to move out. Also summons a small gazier which deals about 2k frost damage to everyone in 10 yard radius and knocks them back a little. Wrangler is a mob with a big weapon, cleaves so turn it away from the raid. Also it does reverse chain lightning sort of spells so take it away from the pack and raid and let casters deal with it. In case there is a leviathan close to the wrangler he will enrage it, making a leviathan more dangerous than it already is. Soothsayer is a priest, does holy nova and heals others pretty much with renew. Nothing small mass spell can take care of. General is quite dangerous as well. It is a dual wielding with hard hitting main hand and off hand. Every once in a while he buffs himself and the others with booming voice. Which makes him 25% more dangerous. Also he will be dispelling 
any incapacitate debuff on himself and others, so don't try to CC. Just focus him down if you don't have AoE ability, while AoE tanking the pack with a Protoden. Harpooner is ranged and will CC your raiders with a net for 6 seconds. Also can put a mark on a player which will get attacked by a nearby... <sighs> turtle. Be prepared to bop the unlucky Clothy. Dragon Turtle... <sighs> has a water spit and melee attack, nothing special but after a while and taking some damage it will cast a shell shield which will reflect 50% of spell damage taken, so it will be fun seeing warlocks and mages drop to 50% HP and possibly dying. Lastly Leviathan, the most dangerous one, decent melee damage, debilitating spray which reduces damage done and healing done by 50%. So turn it away from the raid. However, he tail sweeps, so melee be on the side of it, and casters and healers be max distance behind the damn snake. Can't remember how many times a rogue got tail sweeped into the next pack of the map, resulting in a wipe sometimes even. Keep in mind that trash leading up to the first boss is one of the hardest in the entire instance. Also, there is a gate on top of the sewers which can only be opened by killing Nagentas. That would be it for the first boss. I really like Black Temple, it is my favorite trade ever and I let it multiple times in the past, so I'll take extra pleasure making these guides. Anyway, stay safe and have fun playing the game, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!